In this video, we're staying at four different hotels right here on Rayleigh Beach. We're gonna help you decide where you're gonna stay on your next trip. Let's go. This is one of the options you can find for hotels here at Rayleigh Beach. This is the Sand Sea Resort. It was really cool. They picked us up from the airport and we even got a boat to take us straight to the hotel. The room's really comfortable. We've got a massive bed. We've got a little fridge. There's a bath here and we've even got our own private balcony. It's, but what I really love is how close it is to the beach. You just hop out the door of your room and it's about a two minute walk and you're right there on the famous Rayleigh Beach. It's so beautiful here. We paid 2,100 baht for a night here, which is about 54 US dollars. And that's pretty good. It includes breakfast as well. We've just checked into the Bu Nao Tani Resort and Spa. This hotel is on the east side of Rayleigh Beach. It's probably where you'll arrive if you do a transfer straight from the airport. This hotel is one of the closest hotels to all of the long tail boats. It's really easy to catch a boat and go on a day trip from here. Let's go inside and check out the room. This is a really nice room. It's way bigger than we expected and really nicely designed too. There are some nice little touches like little plants scattered around. But I have to say the most impressive feature is definitely the bath. It is like an enormous bath and it even has a chandelier over the top. It's really cool. We've got a shower inside and we also have a really nice outdoor space that comes with an outdoor rain shower. It's really nice. And we've got a little veranda out the front as well. There's quite a lot of outdoor space in this room. Another thing I really love is we have a little wardrobe attached to the bathroom. It's just a really nice place to keep your stuff and it has a full length mirror as well. So how much did we pay for this room? We paid 2,010 baht, which is just under 53 US dollars. We had breakfast included with the price and there's also a really nice swimming pool here as well. Now we're at the Rayleigh Great View Resort. So now I'm gonna show you around. So for starters, this place is pretty big, right? It's got these big, beautiful windows that let in loads of light. So it's just really spacious and looks even more bigger than I think it already is. Another really cool thing is there's lots of wood in this room. I feel like it really captures the Thai sort of element. We've also got this really huge bed and it's positioned so well. So we've got this incredible view right here and I can just imagine lying on this bed, waking up in the morning and just looking out over there. Over this way, we've also got some really nice seating. There's this really, really big couch or loaded with cushions. It's really like being in the middle of a jungle here. So I'm looking out, I'm seeing the trees and it's really, really tranquil here. It's a little bit further away from the beaches, but it's actually not that hard to get to. You have the option of taking a 20 minute walk, which follows the cliffs and is really beautiful and winding. You get those classic crabby views and there are some different food options along the way as well. Or you can take the long tail boat. We paid 200 baht for that service. You can probably get it a little bit cheaper if you're willing to negotiate, but we weren't too bothered by the cost. So now we're gonna hop on this way and I'm gonna show you what the bathroom is like here. Wait till you see this, it's really nice. So just through these doors is our bathroom. What I really love about this is we've got a huge bath and again, they've positioned everything so well here. We've got a window right there so I can sit there in the bath relaxing, complete with a proper headrest in the bath. If having a bath isn't exactly your thing, there's also the option of a shower. I can stand in the rain shower and look out the window and again, I can see the jungle and I can see a little bit of ocean. It really is a great view here. We've also got just like the usual sort of shower things. We've got soap, we've got shampoo and conditioner. But my favorite thing about this room is our very own private balcony. Come over this way. I've told you this room is really big and that goes for the balcony as well. Just check out this space, it's enormous. Another really cool thing is they've given us loads of seating. We've got the two chairs here, we've got a table and we've got a bench. Seriously, it's such a big and beautiful space out here. It's really cool. You're completely surrounded by trees and you're sitting in a building which is made of wood. It's just really nice and adds to kind of like the treehouse feel. Now back inside, we've got all the kind of usual hotel things. Just back here, we've got all of the room storage. So this is where we're keeping our bags and behind this door, you've got a safe, you've got some umbrellas, which is really good because Krabby does rain and we've even got this really nice mat. So this is designed for you to take down to the beach and you can just put it on the ground and lie down on it. And just back here is the mini bar. You have your own fridge and it comes fully stocked. You also have some free tea and coffee. That's another thing about it here. We get a free breakfast. They also have a really nice swimming pool here. And again, it's surrounded by the trees and you've got that beautiful view. It's really, really well set up here. So you might be wondering exactly how much we paid for this really beautiful, really tranquil hotel in Rayleigh Beach. 
Well, this only cost about 1,600 baht. That's roughly 43 US dollars. It's a really, really great deal. I kind of can't believe it was that cheap. We've just arrived at the Rayleigh Bay Resort and Spa. I'll show you around the room. Let's go. So first of all, we have this really beautiful and big outdoor space. We've got some seating right behind me. We've got a little bit of a pond over here and we've even got our very own private jacuzzi. Now let's go and check out the inside of the room. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was the amazing location of this hotel. We are on the road that runs between Rayleigh West and Rayleigh East, so it's really, really central. You're less than five minutes away from the beach, and I think the shops are probably even closer. It's seriously an amazing location. As for the room itself, you can see it's a really nice room. It's pretty big, there's lots of wood in here, and we've got a really nice big bed. The bathroom here is really nice as well. It's a pretty good size, and although it doesn't have a bath, it has a really nice shower, which even has a seat inside. Just through there, you can get to the bedroom. Through these doors, you can get to the outside. Here's our jacuzzi, and just over there is our outdoor shower. So we don't have a bath inside, but we do have a jacuzzi outside. That leads me to another point on something I really love, which is having a really high fence around the villa. It just makes it that little bit more private. Although you do need to remember to watch out for monkeys. We actually saw one within about 15 minutes of checking in. So now, how much did we pay for this place? We paid 2,200 baht, which is roughly 58 US dollars. Well, we actually booked it about 15 minutes before arriving. We took a boat over to this part of Rayleigh and got completely caught in a storm. We've gone on the boat on our way to the next hotel into a massive storm. You also get breakfast included here. And as for facilities, I really love the swimming pool. I seriously think this must be one of the best swimming pools in all of Rayleigh. I hope this video helped you decide where to stay. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.